Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, January 24th, and I am enjoying some Haunted Bookshop in this Sabinelli 315KS. Hope you're all having a great weekend. Eight o'clock coffee. So I wanted to uh, talk about a couple things today. Nothing, not much of a plan to be honest, but stick with me, please. <laughs> the first thing is important. It's downhill from there, guys. But the first thing is important. Our uh, friend, our friend Chris, the rambling dilettante, has put out a a call for help and. Often I'll just put up a post about something like this and, and you know, of course, do what I can to help. But in this case, um, yeah, I've gotten to know Chris pretty well over the past few months. I, I understand how dire this need is and I wanted to pass it along to you all directly. So Chris's brother, Zach, has come up, come down with a major health issue. And I'll link to Chris's video so I don't have to bugger up the details telling you about it. But his brother, Zach, and Zach essentially is a member of our community. He's he's a, a beginning pipe smoker, and he's actually been on some of Chris's live streams. And, you know, I've met him on some of our uh, our Google meetups and things like that. So Zach's, Zach's one of us. Zach has some pretty bad health problems that just developed practically overnight. He's got to get these things taken care of. There's a lot of expenses associated with it. The expenses are leading to stress. Uh, the stress is causing the problems to be worse. So Zach needs a little help. So Chris has set up a GoFundMe. They're not looking for a ridiculous amount of money. Um, it's a lot of money for any one person. You know, it's, it's, I think the total is $15,000 that they need to cover the, the medical expenses. But if we can all chip in five bucks, you know, we'll get to that number pretty quickly. So I'll link below both to the video and to Chris's GoFundMe. Please, if you can find it in your heart to to throw a few bucks into the hat, it would be greatly appreciated, and you'd be helping out some really good folks. If you can't, and I know, and and Chris knows that this is not a good time for a lot of people. If you can't, just just send up some prayers. Um, that would be just as good uh, and, and, and certainly welcome. So we talked to um, David Dorian Ross last week, last Friday. Boy, that was, that was a great live stream. I really enjoyed that. Such a nice guy. And, and one of the things we talked about is how everybody in this community are such nice people. It's really one of the the greatest joys of pipe smoking anymore is is being able to interact with other pipe smokers. And I'm just so grateful for that. You know, I I think about how different my life would be if I had never found YouTube, if I had never found the pipe community here. If I had, during that several year hiatus from pipe smoking, decided to continue with cigars. I'd be one of them miserable cigar guys. So 
So yeah, we, we talked to David Durian, and next week it's going to be me, um, all by my lonesome. But we always have a good time with that. And then I decided, I think the next Friday is February 5th, I'm going to take the night off. My wife is very, very understanding and very supportive. Uh, I say she's understanding. She doesn't understand. She just rolls her eyes. But but she knows it's important to me, and, and she's supportive of me, so she understands that I want to spend my Friday nights with you guys. But I had nobody scheduled, and I thought it would be nice to spend a Friday night with her. Maybe we'll do a movie or something. Maybe we even go out. We haven't been out to, to dinner since this whole COVID thing started. I don't know if she's ready yet, though. She's she's afraid. I understand. Shop is slowly coming along. I've got some wire shelving that I put up years and years ago that I want to take down. I might repurpose it somewhere else, but the wall that it's on, I, I want to I want to clear that wall. Problem is, I don't know how to take it down. It's got these anchors in the wall, and I can't remember how, how they went in. They're not regular screw-in. They're, they're, they look almost like uh, like riveted studs or something. I'll figure it out. This, this bowl's almost empty. I started it before the video. So we shall reload and enjoy another bowl. Been working on a pipe. Um, almost done. Hoping to finish up today, or yeah, depending on what the wife has planned, maybe maybe Monday evening. Uh, and I am making a video on this. This is going to be a this is a massive undertaking. Uh, not because the job was difficult, but people have requested more stem work, and I've done my best to record as much of the stem work as I could. So I've got video from the lathe, I've got video from the from the belt sander, I've got video from my stem making vise, and I try to capture everything at least a little bit. I haven't had a chance to review a lot of the video i know the audio is not good on some parts like on the lathe i don't think the audio came through at all so i'm probably going to have to do voiceovers a lot of editing uh, but it's been a fun project and i hope this uh this pleases the folks that have been wanting more STEM making. I, I'd, I'd love, you know, if it was just a matter of clicking the camera on and, and making a STEM, I'd, I'd love to do it, but it's not. It, there's so much camera work to, to mess with and lighting and, and all that stuff. And, you know, I, I built this corner of the shop to be functional for me to make STEMs, not to, not to have a camera in the middle. And it's really hard to like file a stem with a camera on. It's really hard. Now the overhead camera, that's easy. Uh, you can probably see it. It's right here. So all I have to do is turn that on. And it's ready to go. I'm gonna go flip a finder here. Thank you. 
but the other stuff, <laughs> it, it, it takes a lot of setup. But I don't mind doing it once in a while, and, and you know, if, if it makes a, a good documentation of the stem making process, I'm happy about that, so. We'll see how it goes. It's it's probably going to be a, at least a week or two before I can start that series. I don't like to start them until I'm sure that I've got all the video I need and you know have been through at least, if not editing everything, at least have watched through everything once. So I I don't like to start a sentence before I know how to end it. Somebody said that when I was a kid. I don't remember who. And hopefully you saw the the um, Nimrod Lighter series that I, that I started last Monday. Uh, it's only two parts, so that will finish up tomorrow. That was one I've been wanting to do for a long, long time. Uh, but I'm glad I finally got it done. Beyond that, um, you know, shop stuff is going well. I'm really happy with the uh, the pipe side of things. Getting other parts of the shop cleared. I want to I want to get back to some woodworking. I really want to make a uh, set of shelves for this corner behind me. And yes, I know I could just go and buy them, but. If I make them, I can make them exactly the way I want. They don't have to be anything special. You know, I don't have to do fine furniture. In fact, I'm not even sure I'm going to. No, I will, I will um, dado the, the shelves into the sides because I, you know, I don't want them coming out. And I don't trust screws. So we'll do dados, stop dados probably, and uh, put the shelves in, put some backing on it, and stick it over there. Just making it out of pine shelving. I have a bunch of pine shelving that I took down from this wall when I when I did this work over here. Some of which made up the top of my work bench here. cold. Winter has finally uh, revealed itself to us. But still, given we're coming to the end of January and we're only in the mid-20s to 30s, depending on time of day, not terrible. Well, guys, I have a, a lot to do today, so I'm going to let you get on with your Sunday. Thanks for taking out some time to uh, to share with me here. Likes of the video are greatly appreciated, guys. It helps us out a lot. And if you're not a subscriber, consider clicking that subscribe button. We're getting dangerously close to 4,000. We'll probably have to do something when we hit that number. I have no idea what. <laughs> but, uh, you know, getting over that number would, would be nice. Doesn't matter. I, I, I know that folks are watching, and I, I appreciate all the comments and feedback and everything. The number is not important, but it is a milestone. So, Ah. Uh. All right, folks, well, with that, I am going to let you get on with your Sunday. Have a great Sunday. Enjoy the week ahead. And until we speak again, I look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.